Gilberto Ramirez has signed a multi-year promotional deal with Golden Boy. And straight away, negotiations have begun a title showdown between himself and Dimitri Bivol, which is news to everybody's ears, I'm sure. This is the obvious move to make because they're both on the zone now. Dimitri Bivol promoted by Eddie Hearn and Gilberto Ramirez promoted by Golden Boy Oscar De La Hoya. So you've got a little internal promotional zone rivalry going on there. Hearn is now promoting Canelo Alvarez. Who would have imagined that just a year or so ago? And, you know, De La Hoya can't be feeling good about that. Let's be real. When he first did a deal with the zone and he came over with Canelo, I think from HBO at the time, he was very quick to point out that Eddie Hearn had nothing to do with the deal. He kept stressing that in the media. Well, now Eddie Hearn has everything to do with Canelo's dealings. (laughs) So again, I can't imagine De La Hoya is too happy just from a competitive standpoint about the fact that Eddie Hearn now has his number one fighter for many years. And the entire promotional outfit really revolved around Canelo for a long time. So he's going to hope that people like Ryan Garcia and now Gilberto Ramirez can fill that void to some extent. So he will be hoping that Ramirez can go in there and take the title off Dimitri Bivol. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I know a lot of you rate Ramirez. He is undefeated still, but how good is he? Is he good enough to beat Dimitri Bivol? Uh, Ramirez obviously coming up from 168, a few fights back. He's he's been fighting a 175 for a while now, hasn't he? I'm sure he has. Either way, Bivol isn't the biggest light heavyweight anyway. Bivol's talked in the past about how he could make 168 quite comfortably. Now, a lot of the time, it's not just about how naturally big the fighters are. It's about whether they're used to fighting the bigger opponents. And of course, Dimitri Bivol has been at 175 for a very long time. I'm not sure if he's been there for his whole career, but it's certainly been a very long time. He's used to fighting the bigger guys. Now, again, Ramirez has fought some guys at 175, but nobody on the level of Dimitri Bivol. Is there any kind of advantage just being a light heavyweight longer that Bivol may have? Perhaps not. Who knows? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And how do you see this fight going if it manages to get signed? I certainly hope it does. We'll have a nice little rivalry between the two fighters and their promoters they can sit at the table (laughs) and maybe trade subliminals or maybe overt barbs at each other so let's see what happens who wins the fight Dimitri Bivol or Gilberto Ramirez well let me quote Oscar De La Hoya here he said we're talking the progress has been great I have a good feeling about this. I like Bivol. He's a true fighter in the ring and he's willing to fight anybody. He's a top tier ad to Golden Boy and we feel very excited about the future with him. I think he can give any light heavyweight a run for their money. His record speaks for itself. We feel that the fights that are out there for him with the competition that is out there for him, we feel that he can make or we can make him a big star rather. Obviously with Golden Boy, With the Golden Boy machine behind him, we feel like we can make him a star. Ultimately, Golden Boy understood the goals and agendas I set for myself. Okay, now it's Ramirez talking. And I felt the strong support from Oscar and his team. It's a multi-fight deal with potential for something longer pending this first experience. From all the conversations my team and I have had with Golden Boy, I felt comfortable with them and the future opportunities that will arise from our relationship. Oscar is a great guy and it's been nothing but a pleasure dealing with him and his team. As my relationship with Golden Boy continues to grow, I'm sure we will become closer. He's a champion, one of the greatest to ever lace up the gloves. Now, it goes without saying, Oscar De La Hoya understands the Latino market better than just about anybody. And That must have been one of the considerations for Gilberto Ramirez in signing with Oscar De La Hoya is the fact that he is Mexican. He is a former world champion, an all-time great. 
He has promoted Canelo Alvarez for many years up until recently. So he must feel like there's an opportunity there with Alvarez gone to be the next Mexican star, to be doing the big numbers, uh, packing out the arenas and stadiums and so on. I mean, good news. Recently, Texas has dropped all its mandates and what have you. That's always a good thing. And of course, Oscar De La Hoya has put on many shows in Texas with Canelo Alvarez and various other fighters. So yeah, it will be, I think, irrespective of whether the Dimitri Bivol fight happens next, it'll be good to see Ramirez fight on the same cards as Ryan Garcia. I think that's a good little double header pairing where they, they can have maybe Garcia top of the bill, Gilberto Ramirez chief support and stuff like that. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below.